Question. After water, what is the most widely used product in the world? Concrete. Did you know that concrete is a whole science in itself and one in which dozens of scientists are involved every day at the Lafarge Research Center? Buildings. For a long time, our limited knowledge of concrete meant that we had to erect standard buildings with straight lines to ensure a solid structure. Our research into the chemistry of concrete has enabled us to design a more pliable and sturdy type of concrete, allowing more daringly shaped and more spectacular buildings to be built. To achieve this, we studied the very nature of concrete, analyzing it on a microscopic scale. Fresh, standard concrete meets all durability and solidity requirements, but it is often extremely hard and viscous and difficult to work with. A natural chemical phenomenon lies at the root of this problem. Cement particles in concrete are irresistibly drawn towards each other when mixed with water. To produce concrete with greater fluidity without adding water, Lafarge's scientists have developed their own technology on dispersant additives, commonly known as superplasticizers. A dispersant is a molecule that physically separates the cement particles. These molecules temporarily neutralize the forces of attraction between the cement particles and this gives the concrete a much more liquid consistency. By taking a closer look, we can see that superplasticizer molecules are made up of long chains and links. The superplasticizer attaches itself to the cement particles in what is known as the adsorption phase. The quality of the raw materials used to make the cement can hinder this adsorption process. The latest generation of superplasticizers takes these cement variations into account. Its more powerful linking system rapidly covers all the particles regardless of their type. After this, each element has a role to play. The chains, which are also longer, separate the particles and fluidize the mixture. This is known as steric repulsion. On reaction with water, crystals form on the cement particles, cancelling out the superplasticizer's separating effect. To keep concrete in a liquid state for over two hours, Lafarge's scientists can control this natural crystallization phenomenon by adjusting the molecule's geometry and response speed. The science of additives therefore opens up greater opportunities for architects who, thanks to more pliable, solid and longer lasting concrete, can think up more sophisticated designs and build ever more ambitious structures which meet their increasingly imaginative design requirements.